afternoon, one and all. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I am about ready to take my next trip. Um, we terribly failed in Taylorville and Rochester the last time. Uh, we're going to go out there again. Hopefully this time we'll succeed. Now, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little Petro for the car. Forgot to do that the other day. So we're going to get a little Petro for the car, and I'm letting the car warm up. Um, it's about... 40, 45 degrees out here, so it's not going to be too terribly cold. I do need to get my gloves, though. Um, but uh, it's just one of those situations where, um, you know. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say is that first off, we're going to go to Taylorville. We're going to get the four signs out there. This time it'll be in the daylight. We're then going to proceed on to Rochester. We're going to see the Stephen Stone House. Okay, and there's also a grain elevator with a big thing, big, great big mural of Lincoln on it. After that, we're going to then climb onto East Lake Shore Drive, and we're going to find the other sign that we were looking for the other day. So, uh, it's not going to be as big of a trip as I wanted to do today, but it is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I wanted to let you know, uh, if you're looking for the Lincoln sign here, what you're going to do is, um, I'll go ahead and show you this. I'm going to come down here real quick. You're going to look for this Super 8. See this Super 8 right over here? Well, there's a road. Not exactly sure what this road is called, but you can kind of see it from here. Uh, I'll try to find the name of it. And what you do, now you got to, there, there is a pothole out here. Uh, I'm sure they're going to fix it. It's probably damaged over the winter time because we, it's just March now. Uh, but there is a pothole out here, so try to avoid it until they get it fixed. I'm sure they're going to fix it this spring, but in the meantime, there's a pothole out here. So avoid that. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for this. And this is the actual sign. So now you guys know where this is at. This is in Taylorville, Illinois. We're in Taylorville right now, and I'm going to go ahead and videotape this. And I'm going to go ahead and videotape the sign next to it. So stay tuned. Now I'm going to get a video of this real quick. I'm not going to go ahead and read it because it, it'll just take too long. But uh, basically the title of it is Christian County Courthouse from 1840 to 1856. And I will go ahead and show you the courthouse in just a second. Okay. And then this is called Gardner McLeod Memorial Gardens. As you see, this is the actual courthouse itself. And if you go a little bit further down this way, whoa, got a whole row of buildings. And definitely check this out. You need to check it out. I will see you in downtown Taylorville in just a second. Okay, folks, we are now at the Taylorville Courthouse. And we are about to find yet another sign. This is an Abraham Lincoln statue, as you will see here. And right over here is the sign we're looking for called The Last Stop. And I'm going to read this to you in just a moment. Stay tuned. Once again, we are at the uh, Taylorville Courthouse. And guess what? We have found yet another Lincoln sign. And this time, it's up by the door. I'm going to take you right over to it. And this one's entitled... Lincoln's Taylorville. Now I'm going to read this to you in just a second, but as you can see, it's over here by the courthouse. Here's the courthouse. You can kind of see. Alright, so I'm going to read you the sign in just a second, so stay tuned. Alright, this is called the Draper and Davis Law Office, and look what we have found today. Yes, the last Lincoln sign in Taylorville. In about two seconds, I'm going to go ahead and read this. As you'll see, you can actually see the courthouse from right here and you'll see kind of an abandoned lot out here and here it is alright stay tuned welcome back to Rochester if you'll remember right down this very street right here which is John Street you'll remember we had an Abraham Lincoln sign we're here to check this out and I'm going to go ahead and cross the street real carefully let you see this that. Oops. You know that beautiful picture? Wow. All right. I'm going to my next stop in Rochester, so stay tuned. 
I am now in, e I'm on Ebel Street, Ebel Street, and uh, we are in the Rochester Community Park. Now, as you can see, we're headed towards the Stephen Stone Park, or Stone House, the Stephen Stone House. Remember how I told you people that these signs were in some very obscure places? You don't get more obscure than this. <laughs> you say, wait a minute. How far out is this thing? Yeah. Nice muddy ro road here. Glad I didn't drive in this. <laughs> Alright, this is called the Stephen Stone House. And as you can see, another Abe Lincoln sign right over here. Well, I sure get myself in some of the muddiest places you've ever seen. It's cold, it's muddy, but I'm here. <laughs> All right, here it is, folks. The next Abe Lincoln sign. Here in Rochester, Rochester, Illinois, the Stephen Stone House. And we're just couple minutes away from Apple Drive. Oh looky here! They got names on the bottom of this thing. This is kind of cool. Maybe one of these days I'll come out here and videotape all of them. Rochester Historical Preservation Society. I'm sure that these are people that did this. Okay. Hang on. Okay, we're at East Lake Shore Drive. And what you're going to find on East Lake Shore Drive uh, next to Vigal Road is called the Prairie Center. It says the Prairie Center closes at dark. That's fine. We're not going to be here that long. There's a house right over here. Okay, and a wooden fence. And what's more important is what's over here. You wouldn't believe where I am. This is muddy, of course, and wet and cold, but. Guess what we just found on East Lake Shore Drive? Yes, sirree, Bob. A looking for Lincoln sign. All right, I will tell you all about this in just a second. Stay tuned. Well, we've made it back home, as you can tell. Uh, it's about 5, 5.30, somewhere along that line. It, it took us about three hours to find these things. But total success. All four were found in Taylorville. Uh, I found the grain silo and the sign in Rochester, and I found the one on the East Lake Shore Drive that I did not find the first time. And I want to tell you guys that you should not be relying on the Google Maps. They are just not anywhere close to really accurate on some of this stuff. Um, some of the ones in town are really, they're, they're pretty accurate on that, but the ones that are really in the boonie docks, they're just not. And I showed you where they were. Uh, the other video I have up there right now, uh, go ahead and watch it. I know I describe a lot of stuff, but uh, after that description, I did show you where some of these things are. Uh, I did want to thank the Christian County Genealogical Society for assisting me in finding the one in Taylorville. I also wanted to thank the Looking for Lincoln, Looking for Lincoln Heritage Coalition for helping me find the other one on East Lakeshore. And um, I've been told that uh, one of these days they're going to update the website or whatever. And when they do, uh, from what I was told, they're going to try to link their website to mine, which is really great. I'm very happy about all that. So, um... Like I said, it's been a great day, and I will be finding more signs in the not so distant future. Hopefully, these signs won't be near as hard to find as the last ones. So, there you go. Uh, I will definitely tell you more in a future video. Thank you for joining me on this little adventure, and stay tuned.